Senator Miriam Santiago suggests that the Philippines resort to power politics to ward off China's bullying over the dispute of Scarborough Shoal. Camille Alemia has that story. China is very, very complicated. The Chinese mind is very Chinese. <laughs> This is Senator Santiago's way to describe the Philippines' relationship with China amid the dispute in the Scarborough Shoal. Santiago expects the rift to last. China, she says, is in the process of transferring powers and the country's leadership would want to prove its dominance in the region. The only recourse for a small country like the Philippines is to be patient. Hindi tayo makadiplomasya sa China dahil natin matakot eh. We are just mosquitoes. China is a dragon. The 10 members of the ASEAN are just like 10, it's just like chi, dr, the ch Chinese dragon versus 10 mosquitoes. <laughs> the mosquitoes are just all very talkative. They buzz around your ear, but you slap them down, they're all dead. Or the country can harness its power alliance with the ASEAN nations, the United States of America, Australia, South Korea, and Singapore to counter China's bullying. To do that, Santiago believes the Philippines should convince these allies that it will be to their best interest to protect the South China Sea from China. China has time and again rejected pleas to bring the case to the international court. For China, the only solution to the rift is for the Philippines to withdraw claims over disputed territories. China is a big gorilla. It will bully its way across the forest. We are entitled to the equal protection of the laws, but we are not entitled to the equal creation of states. If you are lacking in physical attributes, use your brain. When asked what else the Philippines should do with China's bullying, Santiago suggests... Well, you have to scream. Like me, when I'm, when I'm outnumbered, I just scream. <laughs> Santiago also tagged as pointless plans to allot a bigger share of the budget to the Defense Department. The Philippines can't be a world military power anyway. Santiago also cautions President Aquino in citing the RPUS Mutual Defense Treaty in the issue. That treaty, she explains, is binding in case of an armed attack, which she says China won't do due to fear of international condemnation. Camille Elemnia, Solar News.